tal mi gente? Hoy vamos a estar viendo una nueva paleta que tengo aquí de unas acuarelas. Today we're going to be looking at this beautiful palette by Case for Making. This is what it looks like. And then we're also going to be drawing, or not drawing, but we're going to be painting um, a little illustration. También voy a estar pintando esta ilustración que hice el otro día. Así que hay que empezar. Let's get started. As you know, I already have a set of case for making watercolors, but I really wanted to get a new one. And that is because I wanted to mess around with more colors and just overall get a new palette. Um, that way my art doesn't look the same all the time, like my colors um, and things like that. I just really wanted a new palette, see what I could do with a new palette like this one. And I saw the colors that they had um, online and I was really drawn to this palette. Overall, the vibrancy of the colors and some of the colors I was really happy about. Others, I was kind of like, mm, they're not that great. Um, for example, this, um, ru the ruby was not that great of a color. Um, I thought it would be more saturated it looks very saturated while it's wet but then it dries off like i don't know it just dries off differently um i really enjoyed the coral that was really nice color but while it was wet and while it was dry it was very beautiful also um the poppy was a really nice color as well I feel like that type of um, orange you see a lot in nature, but you can never really get it um, like like as a pigment, like in your um, palettes. It's not really a color that's, you know, really sold. Um, other colors that I was happy about was turmeric. I feel like that yellow really represents like dandelions very well. Um, it's such a nice color and I felt that it matched like an actual color in nature that you would find um the moss green it looked kind of muddy to me while um i was swatching it out and it was also kind of muddy even when i was painting with it as well the c um the glow one the cfm glow was not one of the best colors in this palette I didn't really get why it was in here. Um, so I ended up swatching it out with black piece of paper and still wasn't really drawn to it. Um, it just really didn't make any sense for it to be in this palette. I think, not sure how I will be using it or incorporating it into my paintings, but we'll see how I can make use of it. Two colors that I was absolutely excited about was Rose and CY Press which is this beautiful green that you're looking at. And that is because now I no longer have to mix green because I always ended up having to mix green with my other case for making palette since it was not on there. Um, and then also for rose, I always ended up having to use a light wash of red so I can substitute for a pink. But now that I have pink, I can just use it straight out of the pan. Pink is like one of those colors where I feel like I'm just like, I don't need it. But then I always ended up having to need it in like my paintings. So that's great. Um, uh, other colors that I really enjoyed were mint. And then two colors that really stood out were um, denim and plum. And that is because they are highly pigmented. Like they're so wonderful to like use. I love the way that they felt on the brush. Um... Yeah, those two colors were just, were just great. Um, I do want you guys to know that some of these colors on here, for example, moss, coral, and poppy, and the Pacific colors, those colors, for some reason, when you're using them wet on wet, they start to um, separate. Like, the pigments start to separate, and then you get, like, these blotches of, like, I don't know, you get these dark blotches and you get some of these like super, 
I don't know, they're just like neon blotches and then uh, it's just weird. I don't know, I don't really like that about those. Um, uh, same thing with fuchsia. You just get these blotches of like different values within the color, which I wasn't happy about. Like the pigments start to separate from one another another. I don't know what pigments are using to mix um to make the color, but they're just separating um while I've been using them and uh, that's something that I just don't like about these um colors or the palette at all. But I already bought it so I kinda have to use it. Um so I do want you guys to know that if you guys are gonna buy it or if you guys are thinking about buying it. Um and my other palette that I have the case for making one, those ones didn't have any separation of color. I don't know why it's happening with this palette or with these colors, but it just looks off. Um, and it kind of made some of my color mixing muddy too. Um, yeah, that moss one, I just really don't like. It looks very muddy. It's not a color that I think really works in this palette. Um, but it's there. I mean, I guess it kind of goes with turmeric. <laughs> Something that I've been doing a lot lately is drawing little creatures and stylizing them. And that is because I want to get better at my character design. I want to get better at illustrating and just overall storytelling. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So that is why I am here painting this little bird. I tried my best to stylize it. Um, but I think something that I could have worked on was the straw hat. I felt that it was a little too simple, a little too plain. Um, I really like the composition though. Overall, I really just want to get better at storytelling, whether it's for an illustration or picture book, a painting, just anything overall. I want to get better at that. Um, but yeah, here I am, just painting away this little character that I made. Lo que estuve haciendo aquí con esta ilustración es tratando de encontrar un estilo que trabaja de cómo yo dibujo y cómo yo pinto. Um, hay unas cosas que me gustó de esta ilustración y eso fue um, cómo se mira el pajarito. Otra cosa que no me gustó fue su gorrita. Creo que podría ponerle otras cosas en su gorrita para que se mire más como un pájaro que está en una historia en vez que un pájaro como en realidad. Um, tratando de encontrar una manera para que tenga un carácter. Porque se mira un poco simple 
él diseñó, pero eso es lo que estoy tratando de um, seguir practicando, estalizar mis criaturas. As an artist, I just want to continue to level up, whether that is in storytelling, storyboarding, animating, illustrating, painting, drawing, sketching. I just really want to continue to level up in my art skills. Um, and these paintings have been very helpful because of how small they are. I'm able to get things done a lot faster and just see where I'm at with my overall growth. Lately, I've been really enjoying the use of color pencils, especially the way that I use them in this illustration. I really love using them very lightly and not so much so in like really bold and dark line work um, that I see other illustrators do. I've really been enjoying just very light textured color pencils on top of these watercolor washes. That looks really great for me. Um, I love the way it looks like with my stylization of my characters. I also really like using um, microns for the line work in this particular um, illustration. I feel like that thin of a line is perfect for something like this. Um, I think I'm just going to continue to do that because I know in the other illustration that I did for the other video, I didn't do that and I didn't really like it very much. I think using just a black line is going to look it's just a look that I want to go for and also just using uh, color pencils very lightly, something that I'm going to continue to use. I didn't really like it so much the way that I used it in the straw hat, but that's okay. Um, yeah, I really am just continuing to explore these different materials and the use of them and how using them differently is going to give you a different effect and a different look. Uh, so I'm just going to continue to practice and I'm going to continue to explore these materials that I have.
Si todavía estás aquí, gracias por mirar el video hasta el final, porque aquí ya lo vamos a despedir. Y suscríbanse si eres nuevo y si todavía no te han suscribido, pues ahí está el botón. If you are still here, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to help me out as an artist, you can subscribe to this channel, share it with other people, or you can check out the links below, and I'll see you when I see you.